Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 30. In this training module, we're going to take a look at working with water meth injection tuning and how we can take a kit like an AM water meth injection and bring it in and integrate it to our sniper system so we're able to program virtually for that water meth injection and have our engine running proper whether we're spraying motor meth or not. We have a lot to cover here. Let's jump in and let's check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how we can integrate in a water meth injection kit to our Holly Sniper EFI system so that we have the ability to offset fuel and spark timing when we want the water meth to spray or if we've disabled it, we have the ability to go back to the normal fuel and spark timing delivery to the engine. So very specific way we need to integrate this and set this up. This is definitely the best way to integrate a water meth injection kit within your vehicle in conjunction with the Sniper EFI. Now you may not uh, be aware of why you would want to run water meth injection. It gives a cooling effect and a higher octane as you're still running petrol fuel. So instead of committing and switching over to let's say ethanol and setting up your car for flex fuel as we talked about already in a previous training tutorial, this would allow you to have additional um, cooling effect and have additional octane only when you're getting into high load situations. And I prefer to work with this just on force induction applications and not on naturally aspirated engines. It gets a little bit trickier to integrate it and to make it work properly. But let's assume you're supercharged, you're turbocharged, you might be getting a little bit of knock or pre-ignition um, and or you might want to just increase your boost pressure and just or make some additional power. You're able to accomplish that by running more boost when the water meth is spraying compared to normal petrol fuel and or running more ignition timing, which is really where we gain the power from when we spray the water meth injection. It allows us to have higher controlled cylinder pressures and giving us more horsepower and torque out of the engine safely. So let's jump in here and take a look at how we're gonna be integrating an AEM water meth injection kit with our sniper system. There's all kinds of other water meth injection kits on the market, but the AEM, in my opinion, makes the most sense because it's affordable, it's readily available, and we'll find that it has a fail-safe strategy and it's a progressive type of control through the brain controller in the kit. Not a lot of water meth, and kit, water meth injection kits have that capability, so the AEM works exceptionally well and I use it for all my projects when I'm doing some basic water meth injection integration to a vehicle. Let's jump in here and take a look first at the schematic for the AEM water meth injection kit so we understand how that works, the functionality. Then we're going to jump in here and talk about the strategy for implementing the AEM water meth kit into your vehicle and then into the sniper. So coming up on screen here, we're going to find that we have the schematic for an AEM water meth injection kit. This is coming right from their manual, the user manual from AEM. Now there's a couple key components that we need to take a look at here right off the bat. First, we're going to find we have that little black box. That's going to be the brain controller. The brain controller is turning on and off the water meth injection pump in a progressive manner. It's also going to be controlling a check valve. It also will take the level sensor from the tank as a, uh, a fail-safe strategy internally in the programming. And then we also have an LED output that it's controlling that's going to be changing in intensity, the actual light intensity when the water meth is spraying, either uh, low spray or full spray. So that water meth brain controller essentially is the entire kit in terms of uh, what makes it so appealing. We can get other kits with a pump and a tank, but without that actual control strategy from the brain. Um, that brain controller, we're not going to find it's a huge advantage. Now we have a couple additional things here. We have a water meth tank that's going to be here in the white. It has a level sensor coming out that reports the level in the tank to the water meth brain. So if we have a low level condition, it's going to go ahead and warn the brain and then the brain's going to go and uh, have a fail safe strategy they can output and we'll talk about that here. We have our water meth pump that's controlled through the red and black, the red and black wire. It looks like the red, the uh, pink and orange wire where it actually comes into the harness. The pink and orange wire control in a progressive manner, ramping up or down the pump control to ramp up or down the water meth spray. So we're doing it in a progressive manner. We're not just turning it on or off. We'll also find that we have our little uh, check valve that goes between the pump and the nozzle. We can see the nozzles mounted on the charge pipe before the throttle body assembly. Um, that check valve makes sure that we don't get a siphoning effect. If we're in vacuum conditions, it could technically siphon. Um, and then we have two wires coming out of that water meth 
brain control. And there's going to be a green wire. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.